The passenger ferry Oldenburg is on her first visit to the inland port of Gloucester. Leaving the River Severn, the ship first passes through the basin at Sharpness docks and into the large sea lock. Crowds had gathered to witness this event, and remember, it is June 1992, a time when the public could wander around the docks and onto the side of the lock. Over 20 years later, these docks, including the lock area, are out of bounds to the public. However, a picnic area has been established close to the piers, allowing good views of ships arriving and leaving sharpness. From Sharpness Docks, the Oldenburg enters the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal for the three-hour journey to Gloucester. The canal was opened in 1827, is 16 miles long and when built was the widest canal in the world. It was built to avoid the treacherous narrow channels of the River Severn, which gave problems to ships navigating their way upriver from the sea to Gloucester. The Oldenburg was built in Germany in 1958 as a passenger ferry to work from the mainland to the Frisian Islands. During 1985, the ship was purchased by the Lundy Company Limited as a passenger ferry serving the Bristol Channel Island of Lundy from both Ilfracombe and Biddeford. Lundy is owned by the National Trust and the Landmark Trust manage both the island and the Oldenburg. The Oldenburg is no stranger to sharpness as she visits the port each year to be dry docked at the shipyard for her annual survey. As the Oldenburg arrived at Gloucester, it began to rain. But that didn't put off a crowd of people keen to see the ship enter the port for the first time. After an overnight stay in the city, the Oldenburg prepares for the return trip back down the canal to Sharpness.
Following her successful trip to Gloucester, the Oldenburg sails back down the Severn and Bristol Channel to Biddeford. 